Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proftalk Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL store post tutorial for beginners. This is our part number 12. Now inside this video, we are going to discuss about loop statement. Inside this, we will see about using repeat in MySQL store processor. Now inside our previous video, we had started using our while loop and understood as well. Now inside this video, we will see that how can we make use of repeat statements in MySQL stored processor. So if we go to the syntax, now as per the syntax of repeat, as we can see here, repeat is a keyword. Now here, we have to write in repeat. Here we have to write until as a keyword and the expression here we have to provide. But if we compare about using while loop, what basically we have done in our previous video. So remember something called while. Here we have to write expression do and here we have to write our statements and finally we have to write call end while. Now inside this, this is the expression. It means that before entering to the block we need to check firstly the condition but remember here we are not checking about the expression before entry into the loop it means that the first statement will be executed after executing first statement it will check that condition if it returns to value then again this statement will be printed otherwise it gets out from this loop but in case of while loop we will get the first statement until and unless it returns the true value. So this is the difference between repeat and the while loop. Inside this while loop, we are not getting a single statement without checking expression. But inside this, we are getting a single statement until and unless our condition will be true or false value. So let's understand by making a program of using this repeat loop. So if I back to PHP my admin, Inside this database, if I go to routines and create a routine, let's say add routine, let's say get repeat loop. Now here, we don't want any parameters. Now inside this body section, we are going to provide our logic. So let's say begin, let's say end. Now inside this, I'm going to declare two variables. Let's say declare x equal to int. It should be integer value and again I'm going to declare a variable and let's say a string value. The same variables actually we have used in our previous video. So it should be varchar and maximum 20 characters. Now inside this, firstly I'm going to initialize these variables. So let's say set x equal to 1 and also let's say set a string value equal to blank value. Now after declaring and initializing all these variables, we are ready to use called the repeat loop. So let's repeat and here we have to write and repeat. Provide semicolon and finally we have to select, let's say select and this is the value actually we are returning from this stored processor. Now inside this repeat, we are going to provide our statements. So firstly, here we have to write something called until and we have to write our expression. It means that until and unless x is let's say less than equal to 10. Now before this until statement, I am to write let's say string value. So let's say string value equal to, so we have to write set string value equal to let's say concat inside this I am going to pass our string value and add or let's say concatenate with the value of x and also with a comma here. Now this is the value actually we are storing inside the string value and we are checking the condition that until and unless the x should be less than or equal to 10 value. So finally we have done everything. So if I copy this body section back to slide open a new tab pasting it here. Now what basically we have done? We have declared two variables. Successfully we have initialized and we have used called the repeat loop statements. Now inside this repeat and repeat block, we have provided our statement as well as we have checked the condition. It will repeat itself until and unless the x value is less than equal to 10. 
and also one more statement we have to add something called incrementing the x value so let's set x equal to x plus 1 now if I copy this line back to our PHMA admin and pasting right here after this statement now successfully we have implemented all the necessary things so scroll down let's say that root at the rate localhost contains SQL and uh, let's say I'm clicking on go button so successfully we have created our repeat loop also go here and this is something called get repeat loop it should not look it should be loop okay now if I click on execute button go up and uh, as we can see that nothing will be printed only the first statement executed and it is because we have used the wrong condition so where we have done the wrong thing back to edit section and here we have to supply call until and this is the symbol actually we have to use we want to repeat this loop until the x should be greater than the 10 value what basically it means it means that this is the final condition on we are getting the 11 value let's suppose that while iterating we are getting the 11 number value inside this x variable so while getting this 11 which is greater than 10 now this loop will be stopped now if I click on go button successfully click on execute and here we have some error and this error basically indicates that data too long for column is string value and if I click on edit because this is the maximum length actually we have supplied so if I change it to 50 click on go click on execute go at the top now as we can see that we got all the data of from 1 value to 10 value so we have to change only the condition here now this repeat this loop actually repeat itself how can the first statement printed after getting the x value equal to 2 now this is something called 2 greater than 10 obviously it is not true we are getting the false value so while getting this true value this loop will be stopped so this is how a repeat statement will work as we have seen that inside this repeat statement the first st statement already actually we are getting while running this loop but inside this while loop the first statement will be printed until and unless this expression returns the true value so this is the video guys actually we have used called the repeat loop and understand about this second loop statement from the past video we have learned about this while loop now successfully we have completed the first two loop statements inside our MySQL store processor. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop a comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.